Got you. We've got you covered. Is the card on this one? I need a poo poo. Wow. Yeah, Look, bring that. Yeah, you got a laptop. I Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I am Brittany. I am a content creator around makeup, beauty, motherhood, and lifestyle. Today, I'm going to show you my second bump box. The last one was super good, so let's see what's in this one. So this one actually comes with a free breast pump voucher and free prenatal vitamins. Oh, wait, no, it has, it has these ones. Okay, these are from the actual Bump Box brand, but you can also, oh, so here's your free one, and then you can also receive another one free on the back side of this coupon card. That's pretty cool. Then we have a body scrubber to exfoliate from After Spa. Ooh, I have a mug. Ah. Oh, almost dropped it. Hired as a mother. It's so cute. I do actually like just to kind of collect mugs, but I will be using this for juice and other things. It says. Tea, coffee, cocoa, juice, mom's choice, so definitely. <laughs> this is super cute. I need to wash it, but just until I can get it into the kitchen, not around little hands. You know what I mean. We got this brand last time, the Mombino Organics. This is an Oh Baby Anti-Stretch Body Oil, Omega Plus 7 Super Plants. Okay. This is a must. I have not actually tried this one, but I am such a firm believer. I am such a firm believer in having oils and lotions to rub all over my belly because with this being my third, I mean, third, this isn't my, with this being my fourth pregnancy, I have one stretch mark. One. And it's a little bitty and it's right beside my belly button. And that was because I just wouldn't stop itching. I believe a genetics probably has a lot to do with it too, but I also believe that because I have used lotions and oils religiously, like all throughout the day, every single day, that that has kept them away. Three times a day, at least. <laughs> I actually carry lotion in my bag, in my baby bag, or my diaper bag right now. And then I have some by the, like in my nightstand. And then I, of course I have it in here in the bathroom. I have it stashed away everywhere. I even have some in the living room. So I, I'm well, well prepared. <laughs> Anytime I start feeling itchy, it's going on. But at least three times a day, I'm slathering that stuff on like a very generous amount. All right, and the last thing in here, which I actually had to dig a little bit for it, was this book. And this is, it's really 10 months special delivery, a collection of stories from girth to birth. The girlfriends from really 10 months are back with more hilarious and heartwarming stories about pregnancy, labor, and delivery. Now, this, this is going on my nightstand right away. I'm actually quite interested in starting to read this after I quit recording because I love hearing birth stories. And this time I have actually really been into researching what my birth is going to be like this time. I'm looking into hydrobirthing, I think is what it's called. No, not hydro, hypnos. I'm looking into hypnos birthing. That is something that I would like to find more about and actually I've taken one class like online it was like a free I just want to do more research into it I <laughs> have had the epidural and then I didn't get it in time <laughs> so I went all natural no medication not by choice one time and I swore I would never want to do that again 
because the amount of pain that I was in, I would not wish that even on my worst day. It was awful and I still remember it very vividly and the only reason why I'd even consider the hypnosperthing this time, of course I want my epidural, but I would like to use the techniques to possibly minimize the pain of the contractions when I get closer to that time and help me get through a, I mean, I already labor quickly, but you know, it'll help the laboring process even more from what I understand. Not to mention if I could get through without getting an epidural from having it and not having it, there's pros and cons to both. But I noticed when I didn't have any medication, the recovery time was a lot quicker and I was up and over, moving around like 10 minutes after I delivered. And it, it was, kind of blew my mind. <laughs> so like the first time I had it, the second time I didn't, and then the third time I was only numb on one side and then the other side I felt everything and it was awful. And they had, the the epidural had to be taken out and re-put re in. The first time it hurt, the second time it hurt even more. <laughs> and then they kept upping the dosage and open, up, upping the dosage. I almost like blacked out because of how much like they kept like I don't know what that stuff is called that they put in it to numb me, but yeah, it was, it was bad. <laughs> I was like shaking, I was getting lightheaded. And so if I could maybe not <laughs> have all that done, that would be great. I also had back pains the second time because the anesthesiologist obviously couldn't do it right the first and second time. I was not going to have it done a third time. Um, you know, luckily that went away, but some people say some people say that their lasting effects, like lasting effects, I'm talking about years possibly not ever go away from having an epidural. So I'd like to know all my choices. I guess I was just really naive the first time. I didn't want to know anything. And let me tell you, that was fine then <laughs> um, because it was like the perfect birth. It was the perfect, perfect pregnancy, perfect birth. It, it was like that every single time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. But, you know, every pregnancy is different. And every birth is different. So I would just like to know all my options and angles that I can choose from. Yes! Bulldozer. 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 So that is all that I have in this. Yeah, Blippi has that one. You're right. box. I'm so happy if you stayed along with me this far. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to give me a like on your way out. You know you want to. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.